tonight, Michigan and Wisconsin unveil a stay-at-home order as cases continue to climb across the states. And several counties in our region are starting to issue no travel advisories due to COVID-19, asking people with summer cabins not to visit their properties. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. Thanks for joining us. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers says starting tomorrow, a safe at home order will begin. This means non essential businesses will have to close for the time being, putting some businesses in jeopardy. CBS 3's John Cardinelli spoke to one local business that may be affected by this order and has the story. Going to be there for them. Johnson is just one Wisconsin small business owner now feeling the effects of Governor Tony Evers' safer at home order. Many were looking forward to another busy tourism season, but instead will be left with quiet, empty storefronts. Uh, many of our businesses are coming off of long winters. You know, they're, they're relying on that tourism. They're, they're relying on our locals being out, spending money. And quite honestly, uh, we're, we're not going to have that little for a little while. Which is why Johnson says local support is needed now more than ever. I beg you from... This small business, on behalf of other small businesses, please help us out because we're going to have a really rough next few weeks. Peterson says an easy way people can help local businesses during this time is to buy gift cards to use when businesses reopen. Governor Evers is expected to release more details on his safer at home order tomorrow. In Michigan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer has issued a statewide stay-at-home order to curb the spread of the coronavirus. This comes with an exemption for certain workers, outdoor exercise, and trips to the grocery store or hospital. The order, which will take effect in just a few hours here at 12.01 a.m. Tuesday, will allow essential employees necessary to sustain and protect life to continue going to work. Businesses can also exempt workers needed to conduct minimum basic operations. We are doing this because it is absolutely necessary to protect the health of our people. The goal here is simple. Stay home, stay safe, save lives. And in Minnesota, Governor Tim Wall says he's not ready to lock down the state just yet. During a press conference call today, Governor Tim Wall said he's still assessing how a shelter-in-place order would look, who would be affected, and how it could help stop COVID-19 from further spreading. Walls also said that even if he made that move today, uh, estimates he cited show 40 to 80 percent of Minnesotans could get the coronavirus before the pandemic is over. We're trying to understand the efficacy of the things that we've done. Has it worked to slow this down by shutting restaurants? Has it worked to shut this down by closing schools, keeping children home? And what does the modeling show if we move to a more restrictive uh, order? Wall says he'll give another update on a possible state shelter-in-place order tomorrow. And we learned today Governor Walls has gone into self-quarantine after a member of his security detail tested positive for COVID-19. Walls said he had contact with that person but doesn't have any symptoms. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan announced on Instagram that her brother died in Tennessee of the disease. St. Louis County is reporting their second confirmed case of the coronavirus. Minnesota Health Department says the woman is in her early 60s and is recovering at home. They say her infection is linked to domestic travel and she has only had contact with members of her immediate family. They have been asked to quarantine themselves for 14 days. Douglas County, Wisconsin is now reporting three more confirmed cases of COVID-19. All are connected with the first confirmed case from last week. That's according to Superior Mayor Jim Payne. The first known case in the county tested positive after traveling. In a Facebook post, Payne said all four patients are in isolation and are doing well. The mayor did not share what part of the county the patients are from. Public health officials are working to identify where the people may have traveled. As Payne says, they visited a number of local businesses, including grocery stores.
Now let's take a look at the number of cases across the region. Michigan now has more than 1,300 cases with 15 deaths. Wisconsin has more than 400 cases with five total deaths. And in Minnesota, there's 235 cases with one death. There are 25 recoveries for the three states combined. There's roughly 42,000 cases with more than 515 deaths in the U.S. and worldwide, there's 375,000 cases, more than 16,000 deaths, and 100,000 recoveries. Let's head over to Dave now for a quick look at the weather. Earlier you mentioned there might be a little bit of a storm brewing for us. Is that still headed our way? Well, storm is a pretty strong word, Kristen. But yeah, okay. there's a system that wants to cloud us up and bring us another mix like we've seen over the past week or so. Probably not as impressive as Sunday when we actually got a couple inches of snow to stick on the ground, but it could. And so it could change this live picture here of downtown Ely by this time tomorrow night instead of that nice dry street it could be covered in a little bit of rain i think the rain snow mix this time around may go more towards rain than snow and here's the upper midwest situation right now higher pressure today brought a beautiful blue sky and brightened up some spirits and we could all use that right about now well it is going to get a little bit grayer tomorrow as that low from montana charges into the region by tomorrow afternoon we get a fifty percent chance for the rain snow mix so we take a look at our day planner here for Tuesday. We start the day with perhaps a little lingering sunshine. Once the sun comes up again, there may be enough cloud cover to split apart to bring us a little touch of sunshine. But then by lunch, it should be mostly cloudy. And by the time folks head back home from work, or if any schools happen to be open here still, 50% chance for that mix. High temp around 44 degrees. And there lies the reason why I think we're going to get more rain than snow this time around. Temperatures are going to be in the 40s for the most part this week. Maybe one day dips into the 30s. And by this time next week, there's a hint of 50s, which we'll talk about with the entire seven day in a few more minutes. All right. Thanks, Dave. St. Louis County officials are working on a plan to help the homeless community in our region during this pandemic. County commissioners discussed the plan this morning at an emergency county board meeting. St. Louis County's public health director could not give us specific details, but says right now the county is in contract negotiations with an establishment to possibly house the homeless. She was not able to share what facility that is. Chum's executive director said last night the organization housed 114 people and an additional 34 at their warming center, so she knows the need for a place for them to possibly be quarantined is real. We've been working really closely with St. Louis County Public Health and other parts of the county and are very confident of their planning. We're uh, pleased with the partnership and the level of transparency. Westbrook says they hope to have a contract finalized with a place to house homeless people impacted by COVID-19 in the coming days. Mental health is a big concern as COVID-19 causes anxiety for many. Now the virus has forced the closure of a crisis response team in Duluth. Brianna Greenlee says she was a member of the Birch Tree team. They met with people in mental health crises to help them come up with a plan to move forward and keep them out of the ER. She says last month they met with 88 people who now won't have that direct one-on-one -on -one support. So if those 88 individuals show up at the ER in, con in combination with people who are there who are sick because of this pandemic, then I'm concerned about everyone involved. Birch Tree reps say they laid off the team to protect staff and the people they serve from the coronavirus. The, they hope to bring the team back when it's safe. Their 24-7 crisis hotline is still available. That number is 218-623-1800. We'll also have that number on our website. For all the latest coronavirus-related coverage and closing, stick with CBS right here on your television, online, and on social media. Just click the Coronavirus tab on our website. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, as travel advisories continue to go into effect, those who own vacation properties are being told not to visit them. We'll explain after the break. Well, I just mentioned that tomorrow we should hit 44. It looks like we did that today, so this trend will last another day. Although the sunshine of today gives way to the clouds in the mix of tomorrow, we'll talk about the odds and the duration of this latest round of precip coming up after our break. 
Catch Ion Parenting every Thursday at 6 with me, Leanne Valdez on CBS3. My name is Dan Metcalf. I'm a general surgeon and a colorectal surgeon at Memorial Medical Center. I bring a new set of skills to Ashland, and uh, some of what Ashland would allow me is a culture that is very patient-centered. That's a really important part of surgery or medicine in general is really getting to know the people that you're taking care of. I get the joy of seeing patients every day and and taking care of people every day and learning about their lives as well as uh, um, fixing them. Whose show is this anyway? Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 3 on live, local, CBS 3. Your work is your name. You live by it. At Northland Lawn Sport and Equipment, we take our name, our work, just as seriously. John Deere excavators, skid steers, and loaders have the compact agility and big time ability you need to finish the job. Comfortable, affordable, and backed by a two year, 2,000 hour full machine warranty. Standard. In person service calls and parts delivery keep you work ready. Our techs are highly trained and incredibly knowledgeable. Northland Lawn Sport and Equipment. We make sure the work lives up to your name. Working in my family supper clubs, this is where it started with us as far as the fish that we serve at Culver's today. We source the finest cod and batter each filet by hand and always cook it to order. That beautiful golden brown color and flaky on the inside. The fish fry is a Midwest tradition. It's about coming together as families, friends. I love bringing this tradition to guests everywhere. Mom and Dad would be proud. Welcome to Delicious. You work hard for your money and deserve to see it go the extra mile. Join us Wednesday mornings and hear from local experts on tips to better manage your finances in Eye on Money on Live Local CBS 3. Brought to you by MPPL Financial. CBS 3 Weather is brought to you by Cary Toyota. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, let's talk about this day in weather history. At 6 o'clock, I went through the spiel, but we've got to hit it again because I think this might have been the only time in my 13-year career at Ely School System there from kindergarten through 12th grade that we got a snow day. Other than that, you know, <laughs> trudge through uphill both ways to get to school every other single day during that time period. But this week, March 1975, two blizzards. First one came. March 23rd, lasted to the 24th. Second one hit then on the 26th. 12 inches of snow during each situation. High winds, big waves. A lot calmer for us here this week. No blizzards, just a chance for a mix tomorrow and Wednesday. And I don't think any precepts really going to add up because, again, I think we're going to get more rain than snow. Here's what we get right now at the airport in Duluth. Current temps 32. Sky is still clear, but there is a low coming our way from the west. That'll increase those clouds come tomorrow morning. The wind right now is southerly, southeasterly, 6 miles per hour. That direction, that velocity, helping keeping our temperatures up. We hit 44 today. I think we'll do it again tomorrow. Relative humidity, that's 59%. And current regional temperatures run from 32 in International Falls. Well, frankly, down to 23 in Hibbing, 25 Ely, almost 30 Grand Rapids, 30 straight up. They got it there in Moose Lake. Twin Ports numbers, 32 to 34 degrees. Cooler in Superior, warmer on Park Point. 28 Hayward, 27 Ashland. And then low 20s for Ironwood and Waters. Meet low temps tonight, probably teens and 20s for much of our area. And above zero, maybe finally we've shaken off the threat of below zero. Though a lot of towns up north did get that come Saturday morning. In fact, Ely hit 14 degrees below zero. Doppler map right now shows higher pressure in control of our region. So from the UP through Wisconsin into Minnesota. Fairly clear sky still, but still a stripe of clouds trying to infiltrate the arrowhead from the west in advance of our next low pressure system. But I think today's high that brought the sunshine will keep the sky clear for a few more hours before things do start to cloud up tomorrow as this latest low from Montana approaches us, bringing in that 50% chance for the mix on Tuesday. 
40% chance for a little more mix come Wednesday. And again, with temperatures in the 40s here at the surface, I think we're going to get more rain than snow. But of course, if things change, we'll adjust the forecast for you. But here's the way it stands right now, Minnesota-wise, low temps. I'm thinking pretty warm, 21 to 27. Although, of course, the Embarrass Valley may venture into the teens. They're rebels that way. Partly cloudy sky aloft. Into Wisconsin and Michigan, it's partly cloudy there as well with a range of low temperatures from 23 to 27 degrees. Although in the Hayward Lakes area, sometimes a little pool of coolness comes across there. Maybe a few isolated teens possible. 50% chance for the mix tomorrow afternoon, Wisconsin, Michigan. 42 to 48 degrees for our high temps. Into Minnesota with a gray sky and a 50% chance for a rain-snow mix. We get a range of high temps that run inland, oh, about 43 to 45 degrees. And cooler by the lake, 39 to 40 there. Extended forecast, what do we get? Well, we get the mixed chance through Wednesday. We get 40s through Wednesday. We might slip back to the upper 30s come Thursday, but the sun comes back too, and then that sunshine helps lead us to 44 again for Friday. Slight mixed chance on Saturday, steadily increasing temperatures through Sunday, culminating on Monday, Kristen, with 50 glorious 50 wow. possible here in our region. That is going to feel like a heat wave. For it sure. sure will. And again, with uh, folks, a lot of folks being worried about this current situation yeah. health-wise, yeah. get it a little bit warmer, a little bit sunnier, yeah. we'll feel like we can conquer it all. That's right. It'll brighten everyone's spirits. I hope so. All right. Thanks, Dave. Mm -hmm. Several counties in our region are starting to issue no travel advisories, asking people with summer cabins or second homes not to visit the area to quarantine or visit their property. CBS 3's Ryan Campo spoke with those in Wisconsin who are thankful for this advisory, while others in Minnesota have a stern warning. While winter is usually the time when travelers and tourists are most needed, please don't. It's a much different message during this coronavirus pandemic. We don't have the resources to care for you if you get sick. We don't have the resources in our grocery stores and things to provide you with everything you need to survive. Jim Boyd with the Cook County Chamber hopes those looking for a last minute getaway will instead stay home. You're not safe here. We, we can't, the more people we have being here, Beyond the 5,200 that live here all year long, the, the less able we are to take care of anybody. And so that's, we're not trying to be harsh, but that's the reality that we face now. Meanwhile, in northwest Wisconsin, several counties, including Ashland, Sawyer, and Bayfield, have issued no travel advisories. In fact, Bayfield County has deemed a public health emergency, so resources can be focused on those living in the area. Because we're a small county in a rural county, we care a lot about the people that live here. Um, and second home people are very important to us, the economy of Bayfield County. But right now it would be a tough time for them to come because it would put a strain on our health care system. And just like Cook County, if the virus were to spread, Bayfield County doesn't have the necessary resources to respond. If all you say, a lot of people try to get away from the, the virus and come north, it's going to impact the health care for the rest of us because, you know, our health care is built on maybe the 15 or 16,000 people that live in Bayfield County. Well, meanwhile, those delicious pancakes many of us look forward to each and every year won't be getting flipped anytime soon at the deck. Today, the Duluth Lions say they're postponing their 63rd annual Pancake Day fundraiser due to the coronavirus. It's typically held the first Thursday of May, but will now be pushed back to September 10th. Same place, same time. More than 9,000 people attend the annual day, which helps raise thousands of dollars for several causes throughout the region. If you already bought tickets to the May date, you will be able to exchange those tickets for the new September date. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, it's back to the drawing board for the MPCA as the courts order the agency to revisit a polymet permit. CBS 3 Live Cams are brought to you by Kohler Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. You're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. Tuesday! Taco Tuesday is calling. Save on seasoned beef tacos every Tuesday at Taco John's. Taco John's. Bigger, bolder, better. 
lot has changed overnight. But Buick and GMC's commitment to you remains the same. We understand you want to feel safe, so we're offering current owners complimentary OnStar Crisis Assist services. Should you need a vehicle, we're offering 0% financing for up to 84 months with deferred payment options for 120 days. Plus, you may have the option to shop online and take delivery at home. Visit our websites for the help you need. Buick and GMC, we're here to help. Honey, what are you doing? Carpet's getting a little long. Tripping hazard. With the penalty-free promise, auto rates never go up from tickets or accidents. Seriously? Don't so find something else to worry about. Western National. The time is now for a free roof inspection from Empire Roofing. We're a local family business with outstanding customer reviews, and we see so many roofs that are damaged by high winds, snow, ice, hail. Homeowners don't even know they are eligible for a new roof from their insurance companies. How would they know? Empire Roofing will inspect your roof for free, guide you through the insurance process with honesty and integrity. Contact Empire Roofing today for a free roof inspection. EmpireRoofingMN.com or call 218-724-5584. I finally got the nerve to make all of my dreams come true. Gotta get ready for an audition. Big Broadway musical. Who doesn't want to be a part of what makes New York magic? Katie Keene, new series this Thursday at 8, 7 central, only on The CW. The truth about the coronavirus pandemic. We've got a team of correspondents covering all of this. CBS News, the place for information, making sense of it all. We'll have the latest information about what you need to know to protect yourself and your family. Coronavirus, the race to respond. Continuing coverage on CBS and the free CBS News app. Save big on remaining 18, 19, and 20 boats at RJ Sport and Cycle. My part-time service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting nationalguard.com. Environmental groups who are opposed to PolyMet are claiming victory today after an air emissions permit for the project was sent back to regulators for further review. The Minnesota Court of Appeals made that decision today, saying the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency did not adequately evaluate whether the air permit requested by PolyMet accurately reflected the size and scope of the proposed mine. This is the fourth permit the Court of Appeals has rejected this year. Polymet officials say they are disappointed and are reviewing their legal options. Meanwhile, a spokesman for the MPCA said the agency was still reviewing the opinion. The Duluth City Council met tonight to discuss delaying the five-cent plastic bag fee, and that's exactly what they did with a unanimous vote in favor of the delay. It was supposed to go into effect April 1st. Only one councillor is in chambers. That's President Gary Anderson. All of the other councillors are on on the phone for social distancing reasons. You can expect to see some traffic changes in downtown Duluth tomorrow. First Street is temporarily converting to two-way traffic around St. Luke's Hospital. The change goes from 8th Avenue East to 12th Avenue East. It should be in place by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. St. Luke's requested the traffic change as part of their COVID-19 contingency plan. There's no word if or when it will go back to a one-way. All right, Kelly joins us now for a look at what's coming up in sports. Hey, Kelly. Hi, Kristen. Well, it's almost inevitable that the Olympics will be postponed, but why this isn't just because of the safety of the athletes, but why it's not fair to the athletes to have them when they're originally scheduled, that's coming up next. Get your news on the go, the CBS3 mobile app.
stop by your local Super One Liquor for all your party and gathering needs. With locations throughout the Northland and northern Wisconsin, Super One Liquor has a commitment to delivering outstanding service, variety, and top quality wines and spirits. And don't forget the massive variety of ice cold beer and beverages, all at the low prices you've grown to expect. Visit SuperOneLiquor.com anytime to view our weekly ads and in-store specials. So stop by your local Super One Liquor store. Come for the service. Leave with the savings. What are you thinking? Thinking about burger fries and some pie. You know it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Well, then bring the pie first. It's back and better than ever. Hurry in today for Perkins Burger, Fries, and Pie Combo. For a limited time, enjoy any burger, crispy fries, and a slice of our famous pie. It's dinner, dessert, and a deal. Only at Perkins. I'm Dr. Jordan Blessing, and I'm a pediatric hospitalist at St. Luke's Hospital. Advice I give to parents and patients is to ask questions. Medicine's very much a conversation. I'd rather spend more time visiting about their questions than have them worrying about something that I could have been helpful with. I started woodworking in sixth grade. At work, I get to creatively solve problems, and in the wood shop, I get to creatively dream up ideas and then build those ideas. Working in medicine, pediatrics in particular, they remind me what's important each day. Your work is your name. You live by it. At Northland Lawn Sport and Equipment, we take our name, our work, just as seriously. John Deere excavators, skid steers, and loaders have the compact agility and big time ability you need to finish the job. Comfortable, affordable, and backed by a two year, 2,000 hour full machine warranty. Standard. In person service calls and parts delivery keep you work ready. Our techs are highly trained and incredibly knowledgeable. Northland Lawn Sport and Equipment. We make sure the work lives up to your name. Gotta feel it to believe it. Get Extreme Internet starting at $19.99 a month for one year. With fantastic speeds from 60 minutes up to one gig. Dynamic streaming video. So real you can feel it. Amplified in-home Wi-Fi and all the power you need to power it all. Get Extreme Internet starting at $19.99 a month for one year. Call 844 Extreme 2. in our garage is inspired by our racing spirit. Race in for a great deal on the Honda Accord. Only at the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event. Now, CBS 3 Sports with Kelly Hinson. With all the postponement and cancellations in the world of sports, it felt like it was only a matter of time before the biggest sporting spectacular this year was going to fall victim. And it looks like the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo will not begin on July 24th like they were originally scheduled. After a weekend that saw Canada announce that it would not be sending athletes over for the Games, the world awaited whether or not the committee would make a decision. They officially haven't yet, but Olympic Committee member Dick Pound said, quote, parameters going forward have not been determined, but the games are not going to start on July 24th. That much I know of. The decision will come in stages following the postponement. The committee will determine what they will do moving forward. For the purpose that if the start date remains the same, our Canadian athletes are going to feel compelled to figure out how to train for the Olympics right now. And it's not possible to train for the Olympics when you're, um, you know, bench pressing a couch. It's not possible to train for the Olympics if, if you think this is a set of stairs um, to, to work out on. Um, you know, our swimmers can't get in pools. Uh, we don't have gyms and sport clubs to train at. And yet, if we were saying July 24th is still on the table, we're asking them to go against every piece of advice that our, our, our healthcare professionals for the federal, the provincial, and the municipal level are giving us, and that is to stay home. And Major League Baseball has already postponed their opening day until at least mid-May, but one team executive warns it may be longer than that. Toronto Blue Jays President Mark Shapiro said during a teleconference yesterday that teams would likely need a month of training and exhibition games to get ready for the start of the regular season once the league says they are clear to get back to work. All training facilities remain closed and there's currently no time frame yet. 
for when they may reopen. Meanwhile, Shapiro also said the league and the players' union are trying to negotiate on how to compensate players for missed games. And some positive sports news to bring you this evening from our neck of the woods. After handing out its postgraduate scholarship, among other awards last Thursday, the NCHC revealed the winners of its first three individual awards today, with UMD collecting two. UMD junior forward Kobe Roth was selected as the NCHC's 2019-2020 Sportsmanship Award winner. The junior War Road native played in all 34 games for UMD this season while not committing a single penalty. In fact, Roth has only three minor penalties in his 106-game career, two of which came as a freshman. He has never, ever committed a major as a collegiate athlete. This season, Roth racked up a career-high 13 goals, which is the third on the team and a career-best 21 points. In addition, junior Scott Brunovich will split the NCHC Three Stars Award with North Dakota's Jordan Kawaguchi. They were the top two scorers in the conference, with Brunovic becoming the first defenseman to win the NCHC scoring title with 32 points, including a conference best, best 28 assists. Brunovic, who is a St. Louis Blues prospect, is also a finalist to repeat as Offensive Defenseman of the Year. And the Hibbing native was a five-time NCHC Defenseman of the Week during this season and is a finalist for the Hobie Baker Award. The NHL season may be suspended, but these players are finding ways to stay busy amid the coronavirus pandemic. This is New Jersey Devils defenseman P.K. Penalty kill Subin. P.K. Subin, who gets an assist from his former Olympic champion skier fiance, you may know her, Lindsey Vaughn, as he does an ab workout by holding her up. Carolina Hurricanes rising star Andre Svechikov. Svechikov shows off his stick handling skills while getting some fresh air. It may not be on the ice, but at least... There's some hockey at home. That's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back after the break. CBS 3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health, St. Mary's Heart and Vascular Center. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the U.S. Ask your doctor how to keep your heart healthy. No one goes all in on made-from-scratch freshness like Papa Murphy's. Because when you go all in, people notice. Go all in with a new triple pet for just $9. Papa Murphy's. Change the way you pizza. During the Ready, Set, Go sales event, score an awesome deal from Cary Toyota and Superior. Drive away in a new all-wheel drive RAV4 XLE for $249 per month. Or save $4,000 to $4,800 on remaining new 2019 fuel-efficient Prius or Sporty Camry. And save big over $6,000 on this new all-wheel drive Highlander Limited. Toyota's Ready, Set, Go sales event now through March 31st. Hurry in to score your awesome deal from Cary Toyota and Superior. Voted best car dealer in the Northland 21 times. When we face adversity, we find a way through it. It's about taking care of each other. It's the small parts that make a big difference. At Chevy, we promise to do ours. We're offering Chevy owners complimentary OnStar crisis assist services and Wi-Fi data. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free financing for 84 months with deferred payments for 120 days on many of our most popular models. You may even shop online and take delivery at home. It's just our way of doing our part. I'm Duluth Mayor Emily Larson. This is an unprecedented time in history, and it is time for us to come together as one community. Please take time to listen to this really important message. On behalf of St. Luke's, Essentia Health, the City of Duluth, and St. Louis County Public Health and Human Services Department. We would like to request that all residents stay home, if at all possible, until March 27th. Even if you're healthy, stay home. If you must go out, please try to limit your interactions to 10 people or less. We are working with our state and federal partners to evaluate this time frame, and we will provide you an update as soon as we can. If you have mild symptoms, we are asking that people please stay home. If you feel that you need clinical care, we are requesting that people please call ahead to the hotline, your doctor's office, urgent care, or the emergency department before going in. Together, we can do this. Thank you for your cooperation. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Our buy one, get one for a buck suit and sport coat sale is now in progress. Hundreds of options. Mainstream, downtown Duluth. 
St. Luke's Hospital is thanking the public for an outpouring of support amid the COVID-19 pandemic. The hospital's foundation took to social media over the weekend in search of volunteers to sew face masks with cotton to be used by the hospital. The response so overwhelming, they say they're actually good for now. The foundation stresses the hospital was never out of masks, but wanted to stay ahead of the curve. I love that, community coming together to help out. Mm -hmm. Dave, we're going to be seeing a mix of some stuff heading our way tomorrow, right? Yeah, so I guess I'm not helping out much. I'm <laughs> going to make the road slippery. No, of course, I don't have anything to do with it. I'm just trying to predict it. And my prediction is 50% chance for a rain-snow mix. Tuesday, starting in the afternoon, probably more rain than snow. Could last through Wednesday, but back towards sun by Thursday. All right. Thanks for joining us.